Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Owen, hope you guys are all doing well. There might be a couple of differences from the last time I filmed here. Obviously my hair is a different color. Um, I also upgraded my camera. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I got a new camera. Now I can actually see myself when I'm recording. So it actually makes this process a lot easier. Just a couple of quick announcements before we get into today's video. If you haven't already, this is your last week to submit your outfits to my rating subscriber outfits video that I'm gonna be doing next week or just in a few days probably. You have to include your Instagram handle as well as the brands that you're wearing. That way I can talk about each piece individually during the video. The email to submit your fits is owentopfits at gmail.com. It'll be right here on the screen. And yeah, I look forward to rating your guys' outfits. Also, if you guys haven't already, please follow me on Instagram at own to the world. I'd really, really, really appreciate it. I just posted a photo yesterday which has almost a thousand likes, which I've only gotten close to once before, so that's crazy. Thank you guys so much for your support. Also, I've switched up the decor a little bit, have a new friend right there. If you guys know who that is, good on you. So, for this video, I'm gonna be talking about some of my grails or some of my wish list items, um, just items that I don't have but I really want to get but it's probably too expensive to get right now. I have a pretty long list, but I kept it short. I cut it down a little bit just for the sake of the video. If you guys can in the comments, please let me know what are some of your grails. All right, let's get right into it. So I have a list on my phone of all the items and kind of like the prices too, or like the average prices. First up, I have the Elix Nylon Cargo Shorts. I'll have a picture on screen somewhere. These shorts have not officially released on the Elix, like the Shop Elix website. They have been released on a few retailer websites. Um, I just haven't pulled the trigger yet just because of the price mainly. It looks like some retailers are selling these shorts for like seven to $900, which is crazy. Um, especially for a pair of shorts, like that's insane. These shorts are so, so sick. It looks very, very similar to the Rick Owens vest, which I'm gonna talk about later, but um, the nylon pocket detailing is amazing. I really love the color they chose for this. I think it's like kind of like a charcoal gray slash black. Um, I, haven't I haven't seen it in hand yet, so I'm not really sure. But the details are so sick. I don't know why, but I've been really liking this like crumpled up nylon material. I don't really know exactly what to call it, but it's a little bit softer, a little bit shinier too. But yeah, those are so sick has like a really nice cut to it as well. I definitely need to get my hands on these, especially since I'm trying to get rid of a couple pairs of my shorts. So hopefully I can get it before summer or during summer, that way I can wear it a lot. But yeah, mainly just haven't pulled the trigger yet because of that price tag. I'm definitely gonna keep my eye out for those. Next up, I have a couple of number nine items. First up is the number nine hybrid cargo jacket. I don't really know what the official name is, but it's got a denim jacket body, like a zip up hoodie hem, and then a hoodie hood, obviously, and then flannel sleeves, like wool flannel, and then cargo pockets on the sleeves, like green camo. It also has like a shirt lining, so it, this jacket has crazy details. It's so, so rare too. It came out in like 05 or 06. So it's a crazy old jacket. The ones I've been seeing on Grailed and eBay and that kind of stuff have just been like size one or two. I definitely need a three, because you know, number nine fits really small. I've been looking for this jacket for like two years now, but I'm at a point now where I could possibly afford it. Next up is the number nine hybrid cargo pants. I did have a pair of these like three or four months ago, um, but I sold them because they were a little too small for me. Those were a size three, which fits more like a waist 29 or 28 which is really, really small. I'm like a 30 to 31. The actual combination that I had where it was the trouser top and then sweatpant bottom and then had the four camo cargo pockets was so, so sick. I was just so upset that it wasn't my size exactly. Um, so I had to let it go. But I definitely want to get another pair in a bigger size. That way I can actually wear it out more often. I actually never wore the pair that I had outside just like on a whim. I had to like really suck it in in order to get that button closure done. Next up is another Elix item. It is the Elix ROA Distressed Suede Boot. This is like a new style that they haven't really done before. I know they've, they've done tons and tons and tons of collaborations before, but this one is a new style. It's like a high top, but it looks like a sock liner kind of. Um, it's like a flimsy top and you zip it right up. It has suede all over it. It's kind of like raggedy, which is super cool. It's like kind of unique too. Um, I think the color is really nice too. It goes, it'd go really well with like a pair of these undercover cargos right here. Matching it with like some really muted colors would look really sick. I really need to get my hands on these. I know they released on a few retailers websites for like around $900, which is um, crazy for the ROA hiking boots. I actually just got my third pair of Leaks hiking boots, so I probably need to cool it down a little bit, but these are the newest ones I got. These are the, the pink low tops. Um, I have the black low tops, which is the same cut. It just has leather all over, but this is like a, a pink like cotton material. It's super soft and it's my size too, which is crazy rare. But yeah, these boots are super sick. I don't know if I should get the, the suede high top ones just because I already have so many, but it's, you know, it's a little bit different. So maybe I can justify it. Next up is something that is really hard to wear, but it's so, so sick. 
It is the helmet laying bulletproof vest. I know a lot of you are probably thinking that it's impossible to wear outside. I think it is possible, it just ha you just have to style it right. The color that I've been looking at is the white colorway, not with the black one. The black one just looks too military, too police. Um, I definitely want to differentiate from like a regular bulletproof vest. It has like really cool Velcro detailing on the sides up here by the neck and then two by the side, I believe, just to like tighten it. It's such a sick vest. I have so many ideas of how I could style it. I just need to get my hands on it. They go for roughly like $1,500, which is crazy. Um, but you know, it is like vintage archive helmet length, so I guess the price is justified there. I'm actually curious if it is bulletproof because bulletproof is in all the titles of all the listings. I don't know if anybody's actually tested if it's bulletproof, but if it is, that is really sick. Another option for that one, which I don't really know which one I'd go for, but this one's a lot cheaper, is the Rick Owens, I believe it's Spring Summer 15, like tactical cargo vest. It's made of the same nylon material that the Elite shorts are made of, so those two together would look so sick. But yeah, this vest has really nice detailing. I believe it has an asymmetrical cut, which is really unique. I actually don't own any Rick right now because I just sold my, I just sold one of my hoodies, but I definitely need to get more Rick in my collection. Next up is the Raph Simmons Colette CDG Vans. Uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure you guys all know what these are, but these vans, which are slip-ons, go for like $3,000. Has a really, really cool print all over them. Some of the obvious reasons as to why I haven't got these yet is because they're $3,000. A reason besides the price that I haven't got these is because I haven't seen one that's popped up in like a size 10 and a half or 10, which is what I am. Um, I've only seen like size like seven, eight, and nine. They're super old too, so I don't think there are any brand new pairs or even close to brand new. But yeah, $3,000 is obviously a lot for a pair of vans. Um, so I don't think I'll ever get those, maybe one day. The very last item on my list is the Raph Simmons Virginia Creeper hoodie. I know there's a lot of different versions of like the hoodie and the crew neck, but the one I've had my eyes on has like a VC in the corner with like some roots coming out of it and then has the roots on the back. I just think the cut of the hoodie is so, so sick. The hood is amazing. It has a really cool wash to it. If you guys don't know, the, the most of the items from the Virginia Creeper collection, like the hoodies and crewnecks, has like some sort of a chemical in it that causes the stitching and the fabric to just kind of fall apart as you wear it. So the li actual lifespan of these items is not too long. This hoodie goes for around like $1,500-ish. Um, I probably would have got one by now, but I just haven't seen any in my size. I probably want like a size like 50 or 52, but I've only seen like 46 and 48, which is just too small for me. But yeah, I've had my eyes on like some archive Raph Simmons hoodies for so long, I just haven't pulled the trigger. I definitely need to at some point. And if I ever do, I will review on the channel for you guys. So that's all the items I had on my wish list. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really, really means a lot to me. It really helps me out. Again, let me know down in the comments what are some of your grail items. I'm really curious. Again, if you guys haven't already, Follow me on Instagram, submit your outfits to own top fits. And that's all for me today, guys. Peace out. See you later.